Hello guys, today we're going to start the first lecture of pharmacology. So starting the lecture, lecture 1 it is. Uh, first we're going to um, of course describe what is uh, pharmacology. So its definition is basically it is the study of effects of drug on the body. So we take a drug and when, when it enters the body we study what effect it has on the body. So uh, that is basically pharmacology. But if we go into a deeper definition then um, it is the study of interaction of chemical substances on the living system. Now these chemical substances we are referring to are, as are the drugs. Or pharmacology is also the science dealing with biochemical and physiological aspects of drug effects including absorption, distribution, metabolism, elimination, these four basic steps and also toxicity, doses and specific mechanisms of drug action. So. So this is basically pharmacology in which we're studying everything about drugs, their um, all type of properties, effects, not properties, but like their effects in the body uh, and how they are absorbed, distributed and metabolized or eliminated in the body and what happens if they are too excessive, if, they, if their amount becomes toxic and how do they interact with the body to give us the desired effect. So this is basically pharmacology. Now coming to the divisions or branches of pharmacology. So we have two basic. One is general pharmacology and the other is a system pharmacology. In general pharmacology, we study basically the simple basic pharmacology. It is further divided into two parts. One is pharmacokinetic and the other is pharmodynamics. These two terms are very important. You have to remember them. Now, what is pharmacokinetics? It is what the body does to the drug and pharmodynamics is what the drug does to the body. How you can remember this in pharmodynamics, there's a D and uh, it's, uh, so the D of drug comes before the body. So D is dynamics and D is also drug. So when you say the word dynamics, you know what, what word you're going to say next is drug, D, D. And the other is to the body. And of course, pharmacokinetics will be opposite what the body does to the drug. Now, pharmacokinetics further includes four steps, uh, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. You have to remember these four steps in order. How you can remember it? I made a um, uh, monomic. Ali does my exercise. A stands for absorption. It is basically absorption of the drug into the body, blood or body fluids, or um, which usually occurs through small intestine. But eh, or directly into the blood, it depends upon the road of administration. D stands for distribution, M stands for metabolism, or also known as biotransformation, which is done by the liver, and E stands for elimination or excretion of the drug, which is uh, done in urine or feces, and so on. So, this is pharmacokinetics. We're gonna discuss these further absorption distribution in the next lectures. Now, uh, pharmacodynamics, it is what the drug does to the body. D for dynamics, D for drug. Now, what we mean by uh, pharmacodynamics is uh, it is the study of molecular, biochemical, and physiological effect of the body, uh, of the drug on the body, which also includes the drug mechanism action. What is the mechanism of drug? How does it um, show its desired effect in the body? So, that's what we do. So pharmacokinetics uh, also you can refer it to it as the general like overview of when okay so the drug has entered body now what is it doing to the body but pharmacokinetics is the deeper one molecular biochemical and physiological effects and it further includes in which we study binding of the drug with their cell receptor and also the effect of drug inside the cell. And as a result, we get the desired effect. Maybe it will help make more protein, more enzyme, inhibit something. So we'll study that in pharmacodynamics. Now coming to the second division of pharmacology. First we had general, now we are coming to system pharmacology. System pharmacology, it is the application of system biological uh, biology principles to the field of pharmacology. It's basically... In which, study of the, uh, in which we study the effects of drug on different systems. We're going to study it on eight systems, which are autonomic system, which further includes sympathetic and parasympathetic, 
and next we have is cardiovascular system gastrointestinal tract respiratory system gento urinary it includes both the like the reproductive gen genitalia and the urinary system hormonal system or the endocrine system and anemia and autocoids autocoids is basically studying the anti allergics like histamine the uh, drugs which uh, affect allergens or allergy when there is in a body so that now uh, for example when we take uh, a, an example of git disease uh, for which we use medicine is a uh, stomach ulcer or um irrit ibs irritable bowel syndrome or rheumatics which in which we induce uh, vomiting to remove toxins or local antacids which are used to treat heartburn so basically in system we need to cure our disease so we add administer drugs to cure that disease for example so in git we have these diseases so when we enter or take in a drug to um, treat the diseases we're going to study how are they stopping these diseases and how do they affect and so on so this all comes in pharmacology now coming to the books of pharmacology so there are two types of book one um, basic knowledge is there are two types of book textbook and reference book textbook is the one in which is used to study topics of a syllabus or the, the given uh, or the required knowledge that you need but reference book are to get helping material related to the topics of syllabus now um we have here seven books which are common or commonly used uh, one is the pharmacological basis of therapeutics by goodman and gilman it's not good man it's Gil it's good man and gilman next is pharmacology one is by lippincott and the other is rungendale and then we also have human pharmacology by brody and then essentials of medical pharmacology by kd therapy or also jp and uh, basic and clinical pharmacology by Katzen and pharmacology and pharmotherapeutics by Stuxer. So these are the books. Next we have the branches of pharmacology. So there are basically eleven branches that we're gonna study. A bit quick. So first branch that we have is uh, molecular pharmacology. So uh, molecular pharmacology, it is the study of molecular actions and interactions of drugs. Uh, at the molecular level, medicinal chemistry, it uh, involves uh, designing the drugs. Um, it all includes the steps such as identification, synthesis, and development uh, of new chemical substances that we can use for um, um, curing, which basically means therapeutic uh, use. Biopharmaceuticals, it involves manufacturing of pharmaceutical drugs or its extraction or semi-synthesis from biological sources. So medicinal chemistry is basically when we synthesize by our own cells, like in a lab, like in a chemistry lab. But pharmaceutical is uh, doing it from a biological source. Psychopharmacology, it is of course the study of drugs on the psyche, uh, such as mood, sensation, thinking, behavior, judgment evolution and memory clinical pharmacology it is study of drugs in human clinically and in this we basically study um, new drug therapies uh, we uh, or new uh, target molecules and so on pharmacogenetics study of the role of gene in drug response and pharmacogenomics is study of the role of the whole genome which includes multiple genes in a drug response toxinology is of course when we study and the uh, um when we when the drug uh is overdosed what well, then what are the toxic effects of it so we study that in toxicology pharmacoeconomics is in which we study the drug use according to its effective cause and um, uh, effectiveness benefit and uh, so like to make it economical and uh, pharma echo allergy is the study of drug effects in a large number of people or in a population uh, that also includes when an epidemic and spreads among a population then also we study the different effects of it so that's pharmacoepidemiology and veterinary pharmacology is of course study of the drug effects in animals and the administer and so on now for some extra information 
uh, drug is from a French or uh, Dutch word which means drug and the weight of a drug is usually from 100 to 1000 D and what is a drug? Drug is basically a chemical substance is and when it is administered into the body it changes the body function how by interacting at the molecular level and through chemical uh, action and or it can also be defined as a substance that is used for diagnosis prevention relief or cure of a disease in animal or uh, in animal or man and this is the most common definition so that's it for today's lecture i hope you guys understood thank you